Hello everyone, welcome back to the H channel. Today we're going to take you through one of the most significant parts of the island which is the Georgetown World Heritage Site. As you know, Georgetown obtained the UNESCO World Heritage Site status back in 2008. So imagine if you're a tourist and you only have a very limited time to explore Georgetown, say like half a day, and you're wondering among all these impressive architectures, which are the ones you should check out? So today, allow me to take you on a short tour around five of the most iconic and impressive buildings in this area, which is known as the Historic Commercial and Civic Precinct. So follow us through to the end, I will be taking you on an informative ride down the history of Georgetown World Heritage Site. If you are familiar with the history of Penang, you will know that this island state used to be a colonial settlement. The EIC, or the East India Company, led by Captain Francis Light, paved towards the former establishment of Penang, then used to be known as the Prince of Wales Island. This particular clock tower is a significant piece of history to mark the occasion of Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. From the base to the centre of the clock, it measures 60 feet in total, one for each of Queen Victoria's reign on the throne. The clock itself was brought in from Europe, and on 1902, it was officially unveiled to the public. A quick fun fact here, when you're here, Try to find an angle where you realize that this clock tower is slightly leaning to one side. Happy searching! The current site where HSBC Bank sits on was previously occupied by the old Post and Telegraph office. However, HSBC itself, then known as Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation, actually started to operate in Penang as early as 1884. When HSBC moved to this current location in 1906, it was entirely different from what it seems today. Only after World War II, the bank decided to modernize its premise and officially reopened here on 19 May 1951. Just right opposite HSBC stands a majestic institution which once housed the Standard Chartered Bank. The bank's long association with this building has lent to the state of it being called the Standard Chartered Building. As the oldest continuously trading bank in Penang, it celebrated more than 145 years of business in the island ever since its establishment back in 1875. This current building was completed back in 1930 and was then one of the tallest buildings in Penang. Over the many years, this building has housed many names but none as famous as the Wideaway, Laidlaw & Co. It was from this company that the current building attained its namesake. Wideaway, Laidlaw & Co. was then one of the biggest and best known British emporiums in Asia, specialising in household furnishings, boots, shoes and gentlemen's goods. When completed in early 1900s, it was described as the finest and newest block of offices in Penang. After several refurbishments, today it houses a tourist information centre and few restaurants as well as cafes. This building itself is probably the most interesting one out of the five for today. Constructed back in early 1900s by the Federated Malay States Railway, otherwise known as FMSR, this is perhaps one of the world's grandest railway stations without a railway. When completed in 1909, it was then the largest and tallest building in Penang. Passengers would purchase an all-inclusive rail ticket and took a railway ferry steamer to Butterworth to board their train. Alright folks, that's about it for today on our short tour around Georgetown World Heritage Site. So we hope you have enjoyed a quick run through the five buildings in this video. Do stay tuned with us as we will put up a second part of a short tour around the World Heritage Site, probably in a week or two. So remember to subscribe, like and share this video and also click on the notification button to get notified on our new episode. Ladies and gentlemen, see you soon, I'm Andy. Bye!